A mystery disease has struck the town of Incline Village, Nevada, a disease for which doctors have no cure. What makes this disease even more frightening is that its symptoms affect not only the body, but also the mind. It's like all the energy is just taken out of your body, and sometimes I would have to even hold on to furniture to move around. Ms. Schmidt lives in Incline Village, Nevada. Since the fall of 1984, doctors have diagnosed more than 200 cases of the same illness in this area. The doctors are not sure what it is. There are 4,000 papers on the biomedical aspects of this illness. They've not been read, they've not been addressed, they've not been evaluated by, the, by NICE uh, or by government uh, and by all the by government advisors. I've had ME since 1983, which in those days was known as Yuppie Flu, but you know, it was like having this catastrophic event punch into your life and I still have ME, so that was, what, 25, 26 years ago. I don't know anyone who has genuine ME who has made a full recovery. Our, our medical authorities have known about this for more or less 20 years. And what, what have they achieved? There's no specific treatment for CFS or ME at the present time. Uh, many of the patients are referred to psychiatrists because of a psychiatric type illness and they are given uh, CBT, cognitive behavioural therapy, that type of thing. And many of the patients uh, feel that it makes them worse rather than feel better. The government is not interested in spending lots of money on people who are ill in a biomedical condition. You get, you get smaller benefits if you are ill with a psychiatric illness. You could actually feel the power draining from you so that you felt as if you were wearing, I suppose the best way to describe it is that you were wearing a pair of fishermen's wellies filled up with water, you know those big long wellies, right? And that, you know, some idiot was blowing your brain up with a, you know, a pump. <laughs> I mean, that's one of the big myths, that ME doesn't kill people, it does kill people. Often you didn't think you'd last the night, you would, you would just think, I'm going to die during the night. You felt like your organs were going to pack in. Why should children go down with this illness? Why should their lives be ruined? This illness, they will tell you, doesn't exist in children. I was told things by different doctors and they got better within two years. That's quite a common uh, thing they tell parents, um, which is an interesting one, because if you don't believe in something anyway, why you believe there's a time limit for it, I'm not sure. They arrived at the house of this child, policeman, accompanied by uh, psychiatric nurses, who took the child away? Or would you just throw him into a swimming pool? And they did. And he sank to the bottom and had to fish him out before he drowned. You just cannot believe that this is happening. The major anger is the lack of belief. Don't pay attention to your own body. Don't pay attention to your own feelings. Don't pay attention to your own thoughts. A lot of doctors will say, oh, you're suffering with depression. Your normal reaction to that is, I can't do anything. I'm usually a very active, conscious, articulate, intelligent human being, and my life has been stopped. Would there have been any other progression than, than depression in those circumstances? But they confuse the two. So they look at depression as, as the cause rather than the symptom of the illness. In some cases, it drives people to suicide because the pain is unbearable. And the hopelessness of the situation faced with this uh, pretense of knowledge. My experience, many of these people who commit suicide are not actually clinically depressed. It is just the culmination of so many frustrations with so many different aspects of the illness that they take their own life. These unexplained illnesses have cropped up all through the history of medicine. You see, MS was hysteria. Diabetes was hysteria. 
Parkinson's disease. All wrong, all insulting, all accepted. Everything about the system, everything about the system is contrary to people who are ill. And it's a cover-all for just covering up something we don't understand by pretending we do understand it.